Hey, my kids want to do the intro and make fun of me. Hello everybody, and today I'm making meals from the Instant Pot for a whole week. Slow cooker. Slow cooker for a whole week. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'm not no, done. I'm that's not, not done. how we do it. In case that didn't make sense, I'm cooking for my family using only a book called The Vegan Slow Cooker for an entire week. Let's see what we think of it. I think I f***ed up. If my family doesn't like this, that's okay, because I'm going to eat the whole damn thing myself. I'm very skeptical of all these dishes. I only want the potatoes. Yeah, that tracks for you. That's really creamy and nice. I'm going to figure out my goddamn slow cooker if it kills me. I kind of love the idea of the slow cooker, because it's just throwing a bunch of in a pot and putting it on for a long time and going, maybe, maybe it'll work. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy and welcome to the channel. Here we focus on whole food, plant-based food. I talk to people from time to time about their weight loss stories and other things plant-based and vegan-esque. One of the reoccurring things I've been doing on the channel is reviewing cookbooks that I either have stacked up in my shelf or people are recommending. This is a book I've had for a long time and I haven't cracked open. It's called The Vegan Slow Cooker by Kathy Hester. It's right there. That's the book, right there. I don't actually have a slow cooker, but I have an Instant Pot, and it has a slow cooker settings. So let's see how that goes. Slow cookers are typically known to make like meaty kind of meals because it allows meat to really tenderize and get soft and fall to the party. So I'm really curious to see how this does with vegetable focused meals. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a cookbook that you'd like to see me cook from for an entire week. Obviously it has to be plant-based or plant-based adjacent. Or you know what? Maybe give me any kind of cookbook and I will modify it and show you how I would turn those meals into plant-based or vegan meals. That could be a fun test of my skills as well. I'm down for that. Otherwise, if you like stuff like this, hit that like button and you know, subscribe for more stuff like this. On to the food. I'm gonna make a fruit cobbler for dessert in the slow cooker. This is normally something we just make really quickly, but since we're trying out a slow cooker recipe, why? not. I'm using Instant Pot for my slow cooker for all of these recipes. I don't use that setting a lot, so I don't know if it runs really hot, really cold, so uh, I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle with it, assuming that will work out just fine. Let's do it. So this recipe I'm gonna pretty much follow along what it asked me to do. I don't have any fresh lemons, unfortunately. I'm going to the grocery store in a few minutes, but I don't want this to I don't want to do this later because it might not have enough time to cook. So I won't have the fresh lemon zest to put in and I'll be using bottled lemon juice, which is not my ideal. So the instructions I realized just said to just core and peel the apples. They didn't say anything about cutting them up. That seems like a mistake. Also, I didn't peel them because I like the skin on. It's got some nutrients in there. It's good for you. Some people don't like warm fruit. I feel sad for those people. Do you not like warm fruit? Let me know in the comments below if you're like a warm fruit person or not. Some people don't like pies. My people are pie people. Are you my people? Much, much, much later. So the berries and things have been in the Instant Pot now for seven and a half hours. I don't want to check them yet, but we'll check them in a second because I'm going to make the biscuit, the topping. And we're going to make it gluten-free. So we're going to use a combination of gluten-free flour. It says oat bran, which I don't have. So I think I'm just going to use rolled oats because I think it'll give us some texture. I think that'd be fine. And for the sugar, I'm gonna use maple syrup. And instead of olive oil, olive oil, olive, we're gonna use applesauce. And because I didn't have the lemon zest earlier to put into the liquid, the liquid, the berry mixture, I'm gonna put some in the uh, biscuit. I think that'd be nice. I think I fucked up. I think I was supposed to add more of like a ground up oats to this. She's the one that said I fucked up. I did not say that. She said it in a loving way. It was... At least now I'm on camera, I can continue grading. Keep grading. Oh, you, she was worried about the sound. She, now, she, this is the woman who, oh, oh my God. What? This is Excuse a per, me? this is a person. I'm a person, this is true. This is a person. I am a woman also. I don't know why that looks so bad. I don't know why, I just said, I made it. I, I felt like it was really aggressive. It's just the way you said it. It was. I didn't like it. I was really upset with myself. Anyway, this is a person who understands uh, video production that she's like, 
The sound has to have context, like like the sink right now. This is what you get when you when you watch this channel. So uh, I just don't want to keep on adding flour to this thing and making it doughy. I think I'm just gonna put it in plops on top, which is kind of how you would do a fruit glump, a fruit glump, a fruit grunt, or a fruit slump, and then cook it inside the rest. So I uh, will see. This could not work out well. It's gonna taste okay though, so we'll see. All right, let's see how this looks in here. Uh, looks the same as when I put it in this morning. How are they still crunchy and sweet in for seven hours? I mean, they're not. They're kind of chalk. <laughs> seven hours! And they're still crunchy. It tastes good. It tastes good. So I'm just gonna, it says not to crank up the slow cooker to high. I could have made those in like half an hour. I know, that's the problem with this recipe is even if it tastes good, it's like, this is something we can do on the stove top or in the Instant Pot. Why in, you do this? It sounds like they needed a dessert so recipe. It tastes really good. So maybe that's why you do it. Yeah, because the flavors soak in. Yeah. And this is probably, this is not the way I'm supposed to do it. I'm sure it's just to roll it out, but look at this. No one's rolling that out. It's also too, this is, I, I don't even know how to do this. Oh, I know what to do. He knows what to do. Okay, I find the tool. Like it is. Huh? Even if this is too raw and a little weird inside, it's vegan. So no one's gonna get sick. This is like a pretty watery, goopy mix, which means that it didn't get thick. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I got ice cream. I don't really think it's gonna go well with the ice cream. Yeah. From a technical point of view, this is definitely a failure. Maybe it tastes good. It's really good. It's pretty sweet. I like the ice cream. The dough has a really nice lemon. Does it have lemon in it? Yeah, I added that. Yeah, the dough the needs lemon. to be sweeter. I like the dough because the fruit is very sweet. Same reason. Yeah. How would the dough work? Because I didn't wasn't sure it was gonna work. It's so good. I really like this dessert. It's weird that it took all day to make. Find that very strange, but it's tasty. I like it. Oh, it's really fun! He thinks it's really good. It's different than what I was expecting. The dough is soft. That said, there's no reason you couldn't make a dessert like this in half an hour. If you want to see our regular recipe on how to make this anything quicker, let me know in the comments below and we'll do that. So I'm gonna try this lemon walnut zucchini oat. It's an overnight oat that I do. Not really an overnight oat, I'm cooking it in the slow cooker. Again, this just feels like oatmeal I could make in the Instant Pot in the morning. For the purpose of this video and for this cookbook, let's give it a shot. It says two servings is half a cup of oatmeal uncooked. That's not true. I would be starving. So I'm gonna make this and make it for just me. And this will be my breakfast in the morning. Oats, a lot of non-dairy milk, but maybe the slow cooking. Uh, zucchini, vanilla. It calls for two tablespoons of sugar or maple syrup. And then knock that back. In the morning, lemon zest and walnuts. So the cooking directions said to cook it on low for seven to nine hours, which is super big time difference. I'm gonna go with medium heat because I'm using an instant pot. It's not technically a slow cooker, but it has a slow cooking option. And just given what happened with the dessert tonight, I feel like maybe a slightly higher temperature might help. Worst case, this is totally burnt in the morning and then I just make something else. It's an experiment. Maru. It looks like a latke. This doesn't look like anything I, I thought it would look like. So I'm gonna get the, what do I put in this? Walnuts now and lemon zest. Let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. Fuck. Shit. Uh. Shit. So, a bit of a disaster. It burnt to the bottom. Anyway, how does this taste? This is the, like, I, I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to make a smoothie or something because this is not gonna be enough to keep me full all morning, especially after a big workout I just had. It's nice. It's really creamy. So I get why the slow cooker aspect of that probably is what makes that possible. I, I just don't know why I couldn't have made this just in my instant pot on the oatmeal setting. I don't know the benefits. Or I could make this exact same thing and not have to worry about it. Fucking burning. So far, not a fan of the slow cooker method. That said, I gotta figure out the right settings for this because the instant pot lets you do low, medium, and high. And I did medium because last night's dinner, I felt like, or dessert, I should say, I felt like it was undercooked. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out my goddamn slow cooker. If it kills me, this was fine. It's actually nice. I can see why you'd want to put more sugar in. I put only half the amount they recommended. It's, uh, it's a bit bland because there's no sweetener in there. So for dinner, I'm gonna use this recipe called Anu's Black Eyed Pea Curry. So I think I troubleshooted the Instant Pot Slow Cooker Challenge, and I'm just gonna set it on the custom temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which seems to be the typical low setting for a slow cooker. Let's see if that works it out. This is a really simple recipe, almost too simple, and I'm low on one of the spices, coriander, so I'm a little worried the flavor is not gonna be popping the way it should. So I'm. it adds tomatoes at the end. I feel like I'm gonna add some spinach too, and then we'll serve it on rice. I am super skeptical about putting dry beans in this thing, and that they will be cooked and firm. Let's find out. I'm already regretting picking this meal. I think my kids are gonna hate it. Uh, well, we'll see, worst case, they'll have a peanut butter sandwich. One eternity later. All right, let's see how this is doing. Ooh, la di da. I think the beans cooked. They did, yay, okay. Let's try this. Yeah, pretty good. Some, I'm gonna add some spinach to it. Didn't call for spinach. Call for tomatoes. Something green. Something green. It's not easy being curry. You just wanna use beans and rice and spice. But sometimes it would be nicer to have some kale or spinach. I really like this. The little bit of sweet helps for sure. It just kind of rounds out the flavors a little bit. It's really nice. Um, I just threw some coconut sugar in here, but you could use maple syrup probably. A little bit of molasses in here would probably be amazing too. I really like that. I will be curious to see what my family thinks. It's peas. And, it's gonna be beans and rice. Can you put that mm. right away? It's pretty good, but it's kind of bland. Yeah, you know, it's fine. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Better than starving. I don't know if that's a good review. That's not bad. It's just like it's not my flavor palette. You wouldn't request this again. No. Mm, nothing. What do you want to tell me more? It tastes like beans. That, do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Her character in The Sims is about to give birth. So I'm, I'm going to be a digital grandpa. <laughs> Name it after me! So I'm going to make this breakfast pudding for me and the kids for breakfast tomorrow. And maybe Emily too. Maybe I'll be ready in time for her. This calls for a crazy amount of liquid, considering how much grain is going into it, or rice. I mean, I never follow the instructions. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm very skeptical of all of these dishes. The next day. Oh, all right, I see you, yeah. Weird texture ish, but it's good. 
Do the kids like it? I don't know. It tastes purple. <laughs> it tastes, you can taste the color? Yeah. What makes it so creamy? Uh, coconut milk. Um, banana? Do you like it or no? No, I do pick. What do I think? Mm -hmm. I think you probably like it. You're eating it. It's okay. I really like that. Mm. It's creamy. It's got the right amount of sweetness. And the apples have softened up a little bit. That's a really good breakfast. I got purple because I used a really dark wild rice. So it seeped into the colors, but that's kind of cool. Let's see the dark wild rice. Well, you can't really see it now. It all mushes together, but I really like this. If you guys don't like this, I will just eat the rest of it tomorrow. Welcome. <laughs> I like the purple. You like the purple? Yeah, that was Annie's favorite part too. I like the texture. The flavor is good. It's like flavor, Swedish. So it's morning, but I'm gonna make dinner now. There's sounds in the background. It's my coffee maker. We're making chickpea cacciatore, which is pretty simple, really. It's just a shitload of chickpeas, a shitload of vegetables. It's too many things. I don't know how I'm gonna mix it up though. How the? I did the amount it said to do. It's okay, it's making a lot. We have so many leftovers. Uh, some spices and red wine vinegar. Throw that in and oh, oh, and a can of tomatoes, big can of tomatoes. A Canadian style can of tomatoes, which is 28 ounces. So you throw that all together. This seems like way too much stuff. I don't, I don't know. But again, I, I'm dead on the slow cooker, but I, I, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but it seems like way too much liquid. Not liquid, too much stuff. Uh, I passed the fill line of the Instant Pot, so. We'll see you in nine hours. I'll probably give it a stir a couple of times throughout the day. It's gonna cook down their vegetables. It's gonna cook down. It's gonna be fine. Much, much later. So I checked this, uh, cause it's almost dinner time. The potatoes are a little hard. They're not off, but they could be a little chewier. So I decided to flip it over to the Instant Pot pressure cooker settings for three minutes. I don't even know, it might even take too long to come up to, uh, temperature because it's so full but we'll see we're here real quick now now we're just going to top it with olives that's dinner Ooh, even that potato has so much flavor in it i see the benefits of slow cooking also i like that i didn't have to make dinner tonight i get you slow cooking i see the benefits i don't like the look of it it's warm on a rainy night it has good flavors It's got like a weird sweetness or something to it. Come with me, people. What's happening? So, we can try this. It's hot. It's got a very good flavor. The potatoes are amazing. No one eats mushrooms these days. I eat mushrooms yeah. all the time. Because you're old. It's not because I'm old. I like mushrooms when I was a kid. We used, yeah. to, get, we used yeah. to get them in a can. They were that, trash. That was in the olden days. You probably like trashy canned mushrooms, wouldn't you? No. I only want the potatoes. Yeah, that trash for you. There's olives in this? You're weird. You're weird for thinking olives are weird. Like it? Brock, my gum. Olives are pretty good in it. Good. I like it. So for tonight's dinner that I'm making in the morning is split pea apple soup. This looks really fun. It, it says it's like an adult version of split pea soup, which is funny because I don't know if that's necessarily a child's favorite meal. So it's kind of an adult soup anyway, but the apple I think is gonna add some interesting flavors. So the only thing I had to swap out is I don't have any dried coriander. So what I did was um, I did a mixture of garam masala and cumin, and I think that'll create the right blend of what the flavors that are missing. Uh, we'll see, it'll do something. 
but there's lots of flavors in here. There's the, the thyme leaves and the bay leaves and other spices. I think it's gonna make a cool little soup. And I made a fresh loaf of sourdough. Oh, it smells so good. I'm sorry you can't smell this, but look at it. It's gorgeous. What should I name this? Let me know in the comments below what I should name this sourdough that I'm going to eat. Oh, listen, can you hear it? That's the best thing about Fresh bread, the crunchy, the crunchy. If you want um, to know how I make the sourdough, I have another video on my YouTube channel that I'll link to below about how to make like a perfect sourdough that even an idiot like me can make. I'm just gonna be here for a couple hours smelling my bread. It's hours later. Tastes like soup. That's not too, all too soup tastes different. It's really good. It tastes normal. Why do we have to have so much soup this week? Yeah. We're doing a slow cooker video. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Only two more days of it. It's really nice. solid. It's good. Not amazing. Not terrible, it's great. So I'm gonna make this mashed potato edamame burrito filling. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is swap out the edamame with some black beans or some kidney beans, just because I know my kids don't like edamame that much. So, and just to make it a bit more Mexican-esque, I think that's what I'll do. This seems pretty simple. It's gonna be basically like a mashed potato taco bowl. Uh, I'll probably add some cheese for the kids to throw on top. I'm not gonna throw these into burritos. Unless my kids are crazy and they want to try that. That just seems like putting a hat on a hat in terms of putting carbs inside of carbs inside of carbs. This is super simple. Basically, we just chop up some potatoes, mix it with water and salsa, and throw it into the slow cooker. And then at the end, we just cut up some other vegetables and throw them in like peppers and corn. You also probably noticed that I didn't peel my potatoes. You know why? Potatoes have lots of nutrients in the skin. So I want to eat those nutrients. Also, I just didn't feel like it because peeling potatoes is a lot of work. So extra work plus less nutrients, that's just bad math. Oh, that's really nice. Because the salsa, I think I use medium salsa, it's got a little kick to it. I mean, that's already so amazing. Now I'm gonna top it with whatever I want. I've got some vegan cheese here, some red cabbage, a little bit of avocado, and some olives. If my family doesn't like this, that's okay, because I'm gonna eat the whole damn thing myself. Yeah, so you take some of the mashed potato mix, and then you just load her up with whatever you want. It's very bright and colorful. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I didn't think I would like it. And I do, it's kind of creamy Mexican. I like it a lot. Yeah? Taste of the burrito. I would have that inside of it. And Annie, you don't like it? Annie opted out, she's gonna make her own dinner. So I'm making breakfast for tomorrow morning. It is a quinoa vanilla cranberry. And my kids said they wanted some, so I'm making enough for all of us. Um, if they really like it, I think I'm gonna have a small portion, so I might have something else when I get home from dropping them off at school. This is pretty simple. You wanna rinse the quinoa before you do this, because quinoa can have like, kind of a bitter coating to it, so it doesn't hurt to, to get rid of that before you get started. Otherwise, all this goes in, and then in the morning, we just stir it up and add some, some sliced almonds on top. I might add some fruit to mine after I taste it and try it, just to give it a little zhuzhed up, but uh, I'm looking forward to this one. The next day. So this is looking all right. I just want to see what the base flavor is like, because I'm probably going to add some things to it. Like I'm going to add some berries and bananas and nuts, but base level, that's really creamy and nice. Wow, that surprises me. Hey buddy. We're trying the quinoa, you wanna try it? Pretty good. You like it? 
It's not bad, right? It's kind of like an oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. You don't like it? I can add some chocolate chips to it and some maple syrup and some fruit. You don't like it's it at all? quinoa with sweet potato. It's quinoa. It's close. It's quinoa with cranberry. So do you not like it at all? Maybe you can change it. Yeah, this is really, this is like a nice alternative to oatmeal that's like creamier and smoother. It's got a little of that nutty quinoa in this, but I'm not in a bad way. Thanks for joining my family and myself for our little adventure through the vegan slow cooker book. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you think you might try some of these meals, let me know in the comments below which ones appeal most to you. And if you like this video, obviously you should subscribe for more content just like this. And YouTube thinks you would love this video right here. So give it a click and see what you think. Thanks for joining. See you soon. I'm still pointing. Oh, hi.